Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Um, Chris here, I'm back down the beach for another hunt. I'm back down at the same rocky beach I've been hunting in the last couple of videos. I'm going to walk a little bit further up the beach now this time and try and uh, get the areas that I haven't done. So let's get on the beach and let's see what we can find in the rocks today. Okay guys, so here we are, back down the beach, oh, there's a little bit of waves coming in, anyway, um, as you can see, whew, you've got this steep ramp, and you, can't, you can't judge how steep it is, but if you have a look, there's the cliff there, and uh, it's probably 70% 70, 70 gradient, 70-80%, it's pretty steep, you've really got to grip your feet on here, but anyway, we're going to get down to this beach, um, get on the rocks, I'm going to walk halfway up this time and start. The rocks are still covered a fair bit, so low tides in about two hours, I reckon. So we just we just try and hit hit it as best I can. There's a few waves coming in. Nice little sets. Anyway, so we're going to sort of go up there to sort of the pointy area and work our way around that area there. Hopefully uh, we'll find something. I'll see you on the first target. Rightio guys, so I'm down here at the beach. I'm at uh, this section. I came in down the other end, down there. So we're going to sort of start here and work our way up. See how we go. Alright, so first signal I had down here guys was ringing up a 13. And I did find it. Just a little piece of metal. I'm not sure what that is check it out at home. Looks like it's got something on it. Ah, it's probably just rubbish. Alright guys, so I had a signal down here and it's right there, right there. And what's that? All right, next signal, guys. That's pretty high. That's a pretty high signal here. Thirties. Okay, I'll see. Didn't say it was too deep. Oh, here we go. What is that? I can see something down here. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Whoa. We got ourselves a ring. Hang on, let me fix that up. Got ourselves a ring, guys. Probably just a a little sterling, fresh drop probably. Rightio yeah, guys, next signal I had down here, it was a 16 and I actually just found it. Oh. Mm. I'm not sure what that is, it says 10, 10 pence, is it? 9 pence, no 10 pence. Hmm. That's weird, must be an English coin. Okay guys, next signal I had down here it was a 15-16. Looks like we got another 20 cent piece. Oh hang on. Actually I think that's another that's another one of those 10, 10 pence or whatever they are. Must be English. Anyway, pretty cool. Okay, next target was down here just under the surface. It is a little coin. And I'm gonna say it's a one cent coin. I don't really know yet but We'll check it out at home. All right, next signal. It's a 16. It's just down here. I've just just marked the sand. So the 
that I could find have the spot. Oh, something right there. What is that? Oh, that's another ring. Huh, you're kidding me. That's weird. Two rings. You little beauty. So, I, I'm, I'm, are you, I have hunted all the way down there. That's where I come in. And I've hunted all up this area here. Here's another spot you can come in. And this is where I'm sort of heading up north of, of this this entrance on the beach here today. So I've only been hunting around this area, and we've got ourselves a couple of rings and a couple of foreign coins. So that's interesting. Pretty cool. Right, yeah, guys. Next signal is down here. Now I was getting a 22, 23. It's not there. 21. It's a little bit jumpy. I've got a feeling it's going to be a ball cap. But anyway. Maybe not. It's right here. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Two dollars for one. She's shiny. Alright guys, well, I'm about halfway through this hunt. I haven't gone real far. As you can see, there's the staircase behind me. So I've only come up about 20 metres, I suppose. But I've been zigzagging back and forward to the, to the um, water. But what I might do is, I've hunted in the water down that end. All the way up to these stairs, sort of out to the water, out to, into the water, like I drew an imaginary line. So what I might do in my next hunt is I, I might hunt in the water up this side, get in the water, do some hunting. There's lots of rocks in there, so hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll catch catch all the targets, and we'll find some more good targets in the rocks. But anyway, I'll probably do another 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'll head home. All right, next signal I've got down here. 23, 24 now, it doesn't look that deep, so it says two bars, but we'll see uh, how the pinpointer goes. Got something here, got something right here, so I'll try and dig that out. It's probably going to be a bottle cap, I'd say. Oh no, oh, here we go, what's this? Looks like a piece off a gun. Little little toy gun, well look at that. Metal. Pretty funny, there you go. I don't know if that is a gun or not. It looks hmm, might just be something off a piece of iron. Something, I don't know what you'd call that. Weird. Right, so next target I got was a big sinker nice big sinker but if you have a look I'm just I'm down the end of this beach so basically what I'm going to do next is hunt the, hunting the water up this end but you've also got all this all this rock and everything out here I don't know and, and you've got this little beach around the corner as well so I've got a fair few water spots I can do um, whether or not there'll be any targets in this specific area right here but there's a lot of rock out there and it looks pretty shallow so you could probably get in that whole entire area. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to head back. I'm going to scan as I head back. If I get any more targets, I'll record them. If not, we'll see uh, See you at home for the wrap. Okay, guys, just on my way out, and I did get a signal down here, and I just flicked it out. I can just see it. It looks like a two-cent coin. It was ringing up about 24, 26. So there we are, two-cent coin. So there's my exit just down there. I'll um, I'll just scan along and uh, see if I find any more targets. Right, next signal I've got down here it was a 15, 16. So we'll look at that. Looks like a 20 cent piece. See, it feels a bit bigger than a 20. Oh no, it's a 50, 50 cent piece. There we are. Perfect. Rightio guys, I made it back from this morning's uh, little beach hunt down the same beach I've been doing the last couple of times in the rocks. There is a lot of sand movement at that beach, so I've been just uh, moving my way up uh, um, up the beach. So let's check out what I found. Okay guys, so here we have it. Um, I was only there for about a little under two hours. 
on the on the left we've got the rubbish so you found a couple of tent pegs a few bottle caps and just some odds and odds and bits here a bit of lead old style and a new one not sure what that is really not sure what that is but anyway it's pro obviously a piece of metal of something interesting weird and just a few other things zipper pulls an old screw screw that fishing hook even got a little bits of metal so just a little bit of trash now we did find a few few older coins here we've got i don't know what this is this is like a it says a new pence new pence it's maybe a british coin don't know i assume so two of those we found i found them pretty close together got a 50 cent coin here she's all crusty but that's a nice 50 got a nice shiny two dollar coin so that's only just been dropped and we found a two and a one they're crusty as i'll just leave them i'm not going to bother cleaning them now we found two rings as well this one is 925 sterling silver i can see a stamp i'll put the stamp up that i the picture that i took it's definitely got a hallmark on it and this one's just a little bling ring little kids ring but cool to find not uh nothing nothing major there and there we have it guys that's the uh blinds for today pretty cool rightio guys thanks for coming along with me today give the video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new i'm chris indoors outdoors with edgy and i'll see you guys on the next hunt